Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the uh, two new events that just popped up on the map and they're worth a quick uh, take because uh, these are two of the events related that'll help you get uh, the Mustang Mach-E 1400, uh, which is a new car in the game. So it's the Albuquerque leg of the America Road Trip 2. What you have to understand is that you will have to participate in this showdown in order to acquire lock-in number five. The showdown is laid out using cars that are otherwise used in the event itself. Of course, any tier four will struggle. So really you're lo only looking at tier fives as the top cars. And out of these, I would say the ride by cam challenger Havoc will be the fastest to a terror concept being second. And then the rest of these guys get much slower uh, and will be much more difficult to get to the point of 1400, which is what you need to get the car. But as usual with showdowns, if you let the guys that are pushing for points move on after the first few days, and you will have quite a few days to complete this, after the first few days, you may slowly be able to move to 1400 utilizing a much slower car. But it's going to be a frustrating process. It's going to take probably hundreds of races, a little bit of luck, and maybe even generosity of some of the higher, faster players who may give away some wins just to help you push over 1,400. But first day, it's going to be all maxed Cam and Tua Terras fighting for this 1,400, and then slowly they'll change from there. Once you have the car and now ready to complete, the full leg of the Albu Albuquerque races, you will eventually have to finish 60 races to get to the car. I'm sorry, I take that back. 70 races to get to the Mustang Mach-E. Uh, understand the way these works is that the lock-ins come in pretty quick. You have to lock in all the cars by race 30. So less than halfway, you have to lock in all the cars. And then the pattern has always been that around race 60, Three to 65 is when you'll start facing some of your toughest challenges. I suspect race 63 is going to be a pretty tough speed trap. And then fortunately, looks like the rest of these are basically relay races. They're usually not too bad as long as your cars are upgraded enough. Outside of that, race 52 has a speed trap that may or may not be difficult. I would think you shouldn't be too bad. Uh, and anything below race 50 really should be relatively easy. But the idea is always to get you far enough to want to keep going and then put the hurdles in right near the end. And hopefully you'll just spend some money and finish it. Now, that being said, locking number one is the most flexible. As with any of these events, lock in the strongest car you have. Even if it's a lower tier, but fully maxed, it may pay dividends in the long run over a higher tier car that's missing too many parts. Of course, the faster cars are always going to be easier to use and quicker to use uh, when you get through the event itself. So a tier two car that's really slow may still affect your relay challenges a little bit, but if it's fully maxed, the challenges will be adjusted and you'll be fine. The second lock-in is a Venom GT Spider. This is a very old milestone car for many of us, but for the guys who didn't start six years ago, you may not have this car and you may have to get it. It's not very good outside of this event. It's, I mean, it's a dyno beater if you give up some parts and tune it a certain way, but it's not really a good live racer, nor is it really useful for anything outside of the event. So unfortunately, you'll be building a car just for the event. Uh, Lock-in number three, a little more flexibility here, but you have to also look in lock-in number four, uh, which is the Uncle Sam. This is where it goes back to if you didn't do the first leg and win the Uncle Sam, you're now stuck. Uh, you may have to buy it. It might be for sale. But regardless, this is where earlier leg prize cars always comes into play later on. Going back to this one, uh, the Tua Terra concept, which if you pulled it, uh, you have the gold star. You're going to be using that on showdown anyway. You probably will want to use it here unless you have the Agara RS or one of the others fully maxed already or much, much better upgraded, in which case you would want to use that. Once again, always, always use the strongest car 
with the most fusions and most stage sixes available for any of these events. Finally, NASCAR Next Generation Mustang, which you have to win first in the showdown, then build to at least stage five. It's a Ford, so the good news is fusion shouldn't be too bad. Plus, you will have free crates as usual. Um, from the lock-in standpoint, since there really isn't any flexibility in how you lock into cars, uh, you're going to be locked into one, two, three, four, pretty much in the way the cars are available. There's really not much of a uh, strategy when it comes to this other than build your car the best you can and go through. The stage sixes and parts will not be enough to help you through to the end of the event. You will have to use crates or have the cars previously built in order to win the Mustang Mach-E 1400. That's the electric car and um, hopefully a good one based on preliminary testing utilizing Nitro CSR Force account. I can tell you it's a worthy car to try for if you have all the other cars and it's able to get to the end. So once we get to this, I probably will run this event and maybe live stream it or uh, record it depending on the situation. And then we'll see just how hard the event actually is. But I am looking forward to acquiring the Mustang Mach-E. So that is my quick take on both events. Uh, again, the showdown, if you don't have the top cars, any of these tier five cars, these two are gonna be the best choices. And then it kind of goes downhill fast from there. Although if you have a fully elite super snake, you probably have a decent chance. The Uncle Sam is not too bad either. Uh, but these tier fours and uh, tier threes will struggle quite a bit to try to win this. In any case, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I look forward to, again, getting the Mustang Mach-E. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel, subscribe, hit the bell, get notifications when I put up these videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.